Hello there, welcome to Augmentech. If you are looking for professional training in MEP designing and modeling, you can reach out to us. We'll provide detailed and practical training to help you master the skill needed for your career. So today in this lecture, we'll discuss the HVAC system zoning overview benefits and implementation. So let's start. So first of all here, we have to discuss what is HVAC zoning. Okay, so HVAC system zoning is the process of dividing a building into distinct zone, each with its own temperature control. Okay, so this allows for precise heating and cooling tailored to the specific need of each zone. A zone could be a single room, a group of room or an entire floor depending on the design and use of this space okay so in zoning the HVAC system uses thermostats motorized dampers and a zone control panel to regulate the temperature in each area so instead of conditioning the entire building uniformly zoning ensure that only occupied or high priority area receive heating or cooling okay now the next question is how does HVAC zoning work? So here we'll discuss each step. So first of all, remember thermostat. So each zone has a thermostat to monitor and control the temperature. Thermostat basically send signals to the zone control panel when heating or cooling is needed. Then the next one is the zone control panel. So this zone control panel na, act as the system brain managing the information from the thermostat and it directs the damper to adjust airflow to the specific zone requiring heating or cooling then we have a motorized damper basically this damper is installed in the ductwork okay so these dampers control the airflow to each zone they open or close to direct condition air where it is needed then finally HVAC unit basically uh, is work in coordination with the control panel and damper to supply heating or cooling to active zone okay so this is in this way the HVAC zoning work so if I give you the example let's see the example of HVAC zoning for residential uh, use suppose let's say imagine uh, a two-story home with first floor uh, we have a living room kitchen and dining area in second floor let's say we have a bedroom and bathroom so how to design the zoning simple in zone one i have considered the first floor living areas in zone two consider as a second floor bedrooms okay so what happened uh, during the day the family spend most of the time on the first floor okay so the system can cool or heat zone one while zone two remain inactive but at night the focus shift to zone two for comfortable sleeping condition and zone one temperature can be allowed to drift okay so this is the basic uh, designing of zone hope all of you understood this thing now let's see the benefits what are the benefits of HVAC zoning? So we have a lots of benefits. Okay. HVAC system zoning offer significant advantages for residential, commercial and industrial building. So here I will show you the detailed benefits with practical example for each. So in that you can see here it is written first one. The HVAC system zoning enhance comfort. Okay. So zoning allows different areas of a building to be maintained at different temperature based on individual preferences or specific needs. Let's say if you have a residential building, let us consider residential building. So if you have a two story home, so what happened? The living room is considered as a zone one. Okay. Can be set to 22 degrees Celsius during the day when the family gathers there. A bedroom considered as a zone 2 can be maintained at 18 degrees Celsius at night for better sleep quality. So in this way, 
दिस एच वी एस सी सिस्टम जोनिंग इनहांस कम्फर्ट सेकेंड वन एनर्जी इफिशियंसी सो बाई हीटिंग और कूलिंग ओनली द रिक्वायर्ड जोन जोनिंग प्रिवेंट्स एनर्जी वेस्टेज रिड्यूसिंग ओवरऑल कंजम्पन सो दिस इज द सेकेंड एडवांटेज नो नेक्स्ट कॉस्ट सेविंग सो एनर्जी इफिशियंट ऑपरेशन ट्रांसलेट डायरेक्टली टू लोअर यूटिलिटी बिल्स ऑल्सो ओके सो ए होम ऑनर विद जोन एच वी एस सी may save 20 to 30% on energy bill by avoiding unnecessary cooling or heating in unused spaces like guest room etc okay so you can also save the cost here next benefits of hvac system zoning is improved system longevity so the hvac system experiences reduced strain as it does not need to be work continuously at full capacity so this extend its life span and reduces maintenance cost then customization for unique needs zoning also provide flexibility to accommodate the specific requirement of different areas so these are the another benefits then environmental benefits is shown here so what are that simple uh, this zoning reduce energy uses leads to lower greenhouse gas emission contributing to environmental conservations okay so generally if i give you the example of residential use so simple a zone homes uses a smart thermostat you know that to automatically reduce energy used during peak times so aligning with sustainable practices clear now second next one is the flexibility for future changes so zoning allows easy adjustment if building uses changes over time and the last one noise reduction is the another benefits of hvac system zoning okay so zoning can lead to quieter hvac operation by reducing the need for the entire system to run at once clear so generally what happen in a zone room or in a zone home the system operates only for the active zone reducing the noise level in other area like bedroom during night time correct now let's see the implementation of hvac system zoning so implementing hvac system zoning involves strategic planning the selection of appropriate components and proper installation so here we'll see the step by step guide with detail example for clarity let's see so in that the first step is what the first step is to identify and define zone so remember here the first step is to determine which area of the building should be treated as separate zone because each zone may differ based on functionalities usage pattern temperature needs so first thing you have to determine which area of the building should be treated as separate zone okay so this is the first step second step is what choose the right equipment so implementing zoning required specific components to control air flow and temperature for each zone like thermostat generally we are using okay install a separate thermostat for each zone to monitor and control temperature then we have a zone control panel which serve as a central hub that communicates between thermostat and motorized dampers then we have a motorized damper which generally installed in the duct work so this damper regulate air flow to each zone and finally we have hvac unit ensure the existing hvc system is compatible with zoning or consider upgrading to a zoning capable unit okay so this is the second step third step is design the duct work so duct work should be properly designed to accommodate changes in air flow due to damper adjustment and minimize pressure drop to maintain system efficiency okay so these are the things which you have to remember and the next step is install and configure zoning component so after planning proceed with the installation so you have to install the thermostat 
were placed them in central location within each zone for accurate temperature measurement. Then install the damper. Then set up the zone control panel. Connect thermostat, dampers, and the HVAC unit to the control panel. And then finally, test the system to ensure proper communication and res responsiveness between components. Okay. Now, the next step is step number five integrate smart or programmable control. So, using a smart thermostat or a zoning enable HVAC system allows for remote monitoring and control via mobile apps okay then scheduling temperature changes for energy efficiency integration with home automation systems okay so integrate smart or programmable control then the last step step number six is what maintenance and optimization so periodically inspect dampers and thermostat to ensure they are functioning correctly okay then clean the duct to avoid airflow blockage then monitor the control panel for system error or alert so these are the things these are the steps uh, you have to remember okay okay this thing so implementing HVC system zoning required careful planning appropriate equipment selection and proper installation to achieve energy efficient cost effective and customizable temperature control so this is all about HVAC system zoning. Hope all of you enjoy the session. See you in next one.